John to get arrested at your son's hearing? I mean, were you shocked seeing it? I mean, did you know it was going to happen? Like, what happened? I absolutely did not know it was going to happen. Um, but I feel like, honestly, like, I feel like it was bad timing. I feel like whoever made that happen or had anything to do with it was absolutely that wasn't the time she had her kid and she was there supporting my son so I don't agree with it even though I'm not a fan and, and we have our differences I think that was a bit much I mean how did you I mean do you wonder how she didn't know she had an active warrant or how did she know I mean I think the down? whole world knows she has an active warrant but I mean she just you know when you're in love you're gonna do what you got to do for your man so she did what she had to do I guess but what do you guys think of Blueface's father before we get into this um, update? So what, what? before we get started, I uh, got a little tongue-tied. Before we get started, I want I want to say something that I peeped that the father said. Um, Blue left him in charge to take care of his investment. He wants basically his son to do his time in peace. Sounds like somebody that's about to do, do, do another sentence. I was trying to tell you before that Blueface got himself into another mess that I don't think he's going to be able to get himself out of. I think that he dodged a bullet when he did what he did in Las Vegas with the club owners, you know, uh, club shooting it up or whatever allegedly um, happened. I was not there, so I'm going to say allegedly, but whatever that mess was. Um. And I don't think he's going to get out of this one. Um, WAC 100 did try to do a good job of trying to keep it on the hush-hush, but it didn't stay on the hush-hush for long. So, you know, he's looking at some other legal obligations that I think that he might end up serving a sentence. I know, Riddler. So that's why I wanted to um, – how you doing, sweetie? Um, that's why I wanted to come live today. I will discuss it more tomorrow. But I wanted to do the bulk of Blueface and how Krishan Rock and Blueface are neck to neck with civil suits and, and just legal obligations. Well, Blueface made more legal obligations, new obligations um, while in jail. So to me, that was a crash dummy move. We're going to get into that right now. And like I said, please um, give Hennessy Review her flowers. She does due diligence on these matters um you know and you know i would love for you guys to go over and subscribe to our channel show your support well how, how was your day so oh i was just uh resting <laughs> uh, about what was it uh four o'clock i was down for the count and just got up about an hour and a half ago i've been real tired but we're gonna get into it because like i said this is gonna be roughly about an hour long live and then at 7 p.m eastern standard time we're going to take um this to the next level and the updates and the uh recaps that i have to do for uh tomorrow morning at 7 p.m which is today actually because today is the 19th and also a day before krishan rock is allegedly going to be released from prison only time will tell if she's going to be released and where she's going to be going I'm um, speaking on that briefly. Yeah, so today's the 19th, and it's 1.37 a.m. So she has about, what, one more day um, before the 20th comes. So I'm going to share my screen so we can begin with this presentation here. All right, so let me make sure everything's coming in clear. <laughs> Hey, Rosen. Hi, sweetie. I thought she had to go to Baltimore. She ha she does. She has le legal obligations there, too. But um, if, if uh, Oklahoma ends up, you know, holding her up, I don't know what's going to happen with that. People said she's going to walk free and maybe go on her own recordness to Oklahoma and deal with her legal obligations. Um, I don't know. But uh, whatever's going to happen... Uh, we don't know if she's going to be that responsible enough to even go to Baltimore once she gets out. She might want to just take that time and spend with Junior, not realizing how she needs to take that time to stop playing with these courts. I honestly think they should really keep her in the custody until she clears up all warrants 
so she doesn't make her situation worse. And it's not that the courts would be bad guys and mean, but if anything, they'd be looking out for the best interests of someone that's not being responsible about their legal obligations. She's going to break the internet when she gets out. You already know. That's why I'm glad I kind of got myself rested because tomorrow, and I'm going to definitely rest. I'm not even really going nowhere um, This the next couple of days. Not because of Krishan, but one, it's going to be a heat wave. And two, I'm just trying to prepare myself for um, what's going to be said, especially the, the rumors and the lies that are going to be spread for people to get clicks and views. They're going to get really ugly up here tomorrow. But I'll be up bright and early. I'll probably do a live stream around this time because I'll probably take a nap around 4 or 5 in the afternoon. And I'll be waking up at 1 something in the morning and can't sleep because I didn't got 8 hours in. I was supposed to be taking a 2, 3 hour nap and got an 8 hour um, rest period in. So we're going to start right now with this. Uh, yeah, keep the comments pouring in of your thoughts of what Hennessy Review has uncovered and i definitely gonna give you my opinion because i I looked at this when i had got up and i kind of was shocked at a lot of stuff that she was saying and i said wow this is crazy so make sure you guys go over and subscribe to her channel popping rakitha was popping lala was popping dominican queen was to do He doesn't even go here. <laughs> hey, odd. <laughs> ah, I know that we don't like him, but yeah, no. He's he's the ringmaster, so we kind of can't talk about the circus without him. And yes, I know that the circus is him bleeding, but we can bleed too. Oh, all right. So before we do any of that, I would like to get started and show y'all that this is the most updated booking information from LA Sheriff's. I want to give you a Krishan update because there is no update. There is still no bail. She's still housed where she was housed. There is still no court date nor release information. And that's kind of concerning me. This Oklahoma hold is still here. And the reason why this is concerning me is because if we already have this information, a release date and a court date, why hasn't it been put in the sheriff's? Okay. That's what I am concerned about. I am still watching. Um, the vine link has not changed. Okay. It is still showing that she is in custody with a scheduled release date of June 20th. All right. This one from Oklahoma shows that she is still on active probation as of June 12th. So there's been no changes there. Well, did I show that screen right here? Probation active. All right. When it comes down to Oklahoma, when we go up into the DA's case, uh, we do not see anything, no movement since yesterday at 4.31 p.m. when the DA was in the case. And the arresting agency, which is the arresting agency, was not in here since 1.29 yesterday, okay? So those are the Krishan update is that there is no update, that there hasn't been any movement in the case file at all. So we don't know what's going on with all of that behind the scenes, but I am going to be keeping an eye on it as well the any PIs. We are on top of this, and as soon as something changes, I will report it to y'all. Now, let's start getting into all of this juicy goodness. Yes, I believe that does mean that they've made up their mind, but we've got to see which way they are actually going with it, okay? And I don't want to speak doom and gloom, so I'm going to keep some of my thoughts to myself and just say let's continue to pray. Yeah, whack doesn't me. tell everything. Now, as we get into Blueface's cases, all right? This whack doesn't tell you everything. He can drag Krishan Rock, but let's just uh, recap this. Did not allegedly from Whack 100's mouth and also world star hip-hop they had uh, put it out there on their channel, allegedly. I didn't see the video. I wasn't there, so I don't know what was put out from World Star. But between those two channel holders, they made it public that Blueface was in more legal hot water, and it was something he did in the jail. A lot of people were going around here with the he got set up, and I soon, I soon after they said that, debunked it and you heard it from whack 100's mouth that he did not get set up that was found in his room 
you could tell just the way he was explaining the story that Blueface was doing something crash dummy again and got caught with some crash dummy pharmaceuticals in his cell. And he's facing more charges. And you know they're going to hit him with a charge because he shouldn't have that stuff in his possession. He's locked up. He's not home free. This is his California case, the people of the state of California versus Jonathan Jamal Porter, just says Jonathan Porter. But I just wanted to say Lucifer's whole name. All right. Now, this is where he is in Click Click City right now for assault with a, a an unaliving weapon with force, possibly great bodily injury. He pleaded no contest to this. And the robbery was dismissed due to the plea negotiation. Now, he and Krishan both share this charge, child. Do y'all notice that? He was not set up. And I will play that video towards the end of this live because I don't think it's fair for me to keep playing um, that same live. I mean, that same video where Wack was on one of his platform podcasts and he was explaining that what was found in the room was not meth. It was something that looked like weed. It was tested for weed. It was tested and came back that it was THCA. Um, less than 3% of THC was in that, that substance that should not have been found in his room. He was not set up. And even WAC 100 would have confirmed that they shouldn't even be using the word set up because, um, because he wasn't set up. Um, he's, he was trying to defend that whatever was found in his room wasn't even a pharmaceutical. It was less than 3% of TH in it, which it doesn't matter if stuff like that is found in your room. You still can pick up a charge. So I'm not going to stay focused on that, but I will definitely at the end, the very end, let you listen to that video. We're going to stop. This is not the one life to live or as the world turns. We're not going to make this into a soap opera and make it, you know, uh, spicy making this sizzle when it when it when it it's it, it's fizzling it's not sizzling they have the same charges in these california cases Child. he has already been sentenced up. to he this no his P, term of two years and five months the status was revoked for his probation because he is currently incarcerated for that to serve 354 days so i don't know where all of that he was coming home in july came from but guess what he ain't coming home in july nope. i don't think because he's going for his probation listen before we even listen to what hennessy's gonna say um it, it did uh, have a release date of July 3rd. I keep I, I kept saying the 2nd or the 3rd. But even um, when Jason Lee the other day with his non um, not keeping up with the updates, he got still in his head that release date of July 3rd like we all did. That was his release date. He picked up another charge while in jail. That's why he's not getting out. That's why... The next court date, people are going around saying it's a sentencing. It's way over people's head that this dude did something in jail. Nobody even did a video until about a couple of days ago when WAC 100 had to come clean that he's been fighting this case with what was found in his room um, as a, a legal substance, which it was a substance. Obviously, it was probably something that if it's even if it ain't even if it was man-made, which obviously it probably was. It was there in the in in the tent to make the person high while in, incarcerated. The the last thing that you know Blueface should even be wanting to do, um, and he's now messing with his freedom. Instead of him getting out, he's got another charge inside of jail that he has to face. And to me, that's crash dummy. It really is. It's really sad that this dude is moving like that. But we talk about Christian Rock, but I mean, look at what, what she's following behind. He's like, he's an idiot. Sentencing on July 29th. If he comes home, he comes home. Um, but he's being sentenced for that parole, uh, probation. I'm sorry, I said parole. Probation violation um, on the 29th. So there goes that July 2nd, 3rd, whatever date it was. Sentence, um, sentence. Hear that word, out keyword, the word, sentence. <laughs> because it's not going to happen, all right? Um, again, I don't want to be the voice of doom and gloom in these situations. However, comma, that is a fact.
All right. Um, and if you aren't familiar with this case, this case was the case that occurred in a nightclub where Blue was out with Jaden and the schoolyards and something or another transpired and he and the schoolyards ended up jumping on this man. There was video that TMZ posted. When I attempted to show that video, I ended up getting hit by YouTube for the violence in it. So I will not be showing that video here, but there is video on TMZ about this particular incident if you want to go and see it. And this is the case that he is sitting in Click Click City for right now. Okay, so I want to start where we currently are. And now we're going to go into Blueface's civil suits. Okay. Sitting in jail for something stupid, but yet again harsh enough to put him away. Doing a short little stint in jail and then gets jammed up again. Make it make sense. The first civil suit that we are going to go into, and I am going to delve into his Nevada case, but I am going to save that case for last because that's the case that everybody is looking at. That's the one with the most information. So we're going to save that one for last, and we're going to get into these other ones. So the first civil case that we're going to go through, let me make sure that you guys can see it very clearly because I'm trying to be very mindful of making sure that you guys can see the screen. So I did pull myself over to the side, even though I hate this screen. I hate this screen, ladies and gentlemen. I hate it. Okay. I really do. I like being down in the corner, but whatever. Okay. Whatever. We're just going to deal with it for right now. And if it starts irritating me, I will change it just so y'all know I will change the screen. <laughs> All right. So this is Jacqueline Martinez. Okay. And if you don't know who Jacqueline Martinez is, Jacqueline Martinez is Soldier Boy's baby mama. Now, if you remember, I did read this over to y'all before, but we're going to read over it again tonight. And while I can see pretty clearly right now, I ain't taking no chances. So let me put my glasses on. Okay. Let me put my glasses on and let's zoom in. All right, that's good right there. And so she is suing for defamation, for false light, Boys. for intentional infliction of severe emotional distress, for negligence and declaratory relief. And she is asking for a jury trial demanded, that is demanded of her. And the case. This is sad because neither one of them got no money like people think they do. People act like they're A list celebrities. We might think they're larger than life, you know. We also look at them as genuinely good people. They're just being followers, you know what I'm saying, and trying to, you know, have this rep that is only ultimately ruining their lives. But other than that, I really think that they're probably underneath this facade. They're good people. They're just making bad choices, poor choices in life, and they're not putting their priorities where they need to be met, and that's with the children. Case value exceeds $25,000. Don't this sound like the James case, y'all? I see it's still at Blueface's house. Don't this sound like the James case? Yeah. Okay. Uh, moderators, please, Henny hitters, be hitting hard in the, in the chat. Make we sure are only one like channel right now. I decided in. that going on both channels for this is not a good idea. Okay? So... <laughs> First cause of action for defamation against all defendants and those one through 100 inclusive, okay? At all times, herein plaintiff as an individual located in the county of Los Angeles, state of California, plaintiff is informed and believes and thereon alleges that at all times relevant herein defendant Jonathan Jamal Porter, known professionally as Blueface herein after referred to individually as defendant, was and now is an individual located in the county of Los Angeles, state of California. Plaintiff is ignorant of the true names and capacities, whether corporate associated successors, alter ego, fictitious individual, or otherwise of defendants sued herein, those one through 100. Inclusive and therefore sue says defendant and each of them by such fictitious names. So therefore is suing them. Plaintiff will seek to seek leave of court to amend this complaint to assert the true names and capacities of the fictitious defendants. So she's basically saying that, you know, go after them on or about December 15th, 16th, 17th and or 18th of 2023 and continuing. The plaintiff became aware that the defendant, that defendant published decimated 
and communicated, disseminated, 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 Charlie, disseminated. I'm sorry, Hanny. What the hell? You know what's so crazy? I don't know why Blueface is so slow. Why are you even talking about these thotties on social media, trying to get back at an, another dude with your soldier boy? And now you're going to probably have to pay this girl out some money that you don't even have because you've been a, a one-hit wonder since you started. You 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 hit the top and, and, and went right back down to the bottom. You You only rich because of the people that still think that you are that it dude. But you're not. You're only it to a small sector on YouTube. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. And come place June 11th of 2022. And the plaintiff was six months pregnant at the time. Till soldier get a DNA test. That's my child, little bro. I'm the daddy now. What's old about your baby mama? Giving me mouth mouth. I'm just going to drop my head on that one. And Soldier, the father, the father of Plaintiff's baby, kissing D every time he sees his child, crying, laughing face emoji, might be my kid. He ain't even get the DNA test, DNA strand emoji. There is zero chance that the defendant is the plaintiff's child's biological father. On or about December 19th, plaintiff's attorney and plaintiff sent defendant a cease and desist letter requesting that defendant immediately remove all defamatory publications and postings relating to the plaintiff, including but not limited to the X and Instagram posts made between December 15th and 18th of 2023. The cease and desist letter further requested that the defendant immediately cease and desist from engaging in any further defamatory conduct or behavior of any type towards the plaintiff. Blueface has a track record of defaming people. He tried to do that with um, Cardi B's husband. I don't know if their allegations of Christian Rock and um, Cardi B's husband, I can't think of his name with his weird self. Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. Put it in the chat. If you remember his name, because I can't remember it right now. I'm having a, like a brain fog right now. But when he gets mad, he just goes above and beyond. And he's not equipped for what um, can come to him. He don't have no money to be sitting up there slandering people's name because they'll sue you. And you ain't got no money. And you're going to mess around and have legal obligations of doing some prison time if you ain't got no money to pay people. On or about December 19th of 2023, Offset. Yes. Thank you, Rosa. callously and mockingly responded to defendant cease and desist letter by sending the plaintiff the following post on Instagram. Nobody ever said your name. Shrug shoulders emoji, crying laughing face emoji. I don't even know who you are. Hands over face emoji. Bro, you posted a whole video of her being in your video, twerking. Bruh. On or about December 19th, it was posted on social media and or the internet that plaintiff had an attorney and that defendant had been sent a cease and desist letter. Shortly afterwards, the plaintiff received several unaliving threats on her Instagram account from unknown persons, including we pow pow. You down, laughing, crying face. Now this is a civil suit that she's uh talking about that Blueface uh actively has. Um, you know I I don't see that being all that serious, but she's just updating you on civil suits that he has and possible uh, money he's gonna have to pay out to um the defamation of the character of the person who is filing this complaint against him and wins which is Soldier Boy, a.k.a.'s baby's mother, or Boo Thang, or ex Boo Thang, he's going to have to pay her, just like he has to pay that uh, club on close to $16 million as we speak with the interest um, for what he did at the club. Emoji, snitch, see you soon. And when you in the grave, I'll make sure your baby I. mm, -mm. Plaintiff is greatly concerned for herself and her child's safety and well-being, and plaintiff is extremely nervous and afraid to go outside 
or being public. Defamatory statements were defamatory per se. The defamatory statements charge that plaintiff what has a particular defect in character, including but not limited to the plaintiff is promiscuous. Plaintiff is dishonest. Plaintiff was unfaithful to the father of her child. That defendant is the father of her child. That the plaintiff practices unsafe and- Listen to Blueface calling the kettle black. That sounds similar to his own relationship, but he's calling the kettle black. Throwing rocks and hiding his hands. Defaming and, and doing a smear campaign like he does Krishan Rock. Like he don't have those kind of issues in his own relationship. Hmm or unprotected eggs. The defamatory statements carry with them the implication of acts of dishonesty and inappropriate, improper, and wrongful misconduct and behavior, including but not limited to that plaintiff is promiscuous, plaintiff is unfaithful to her Didn't I just read that? Yeah, I did just read that. They repeated themselves. The defamatory statements tend to directly injure and impinge, impunge, impunge, Plaintiff, with respect to plaintiff's offices, professions, trades, uh, vocational capacity, businesses, and reputation by inputting to plaintiff a disqualify, disqualification in those respects, which the offices, professions, trades, and businesses particularly require. To wit, plaintiff She's trying to say he's messing up her coin. Attitude, trust, stability, being level-headed, and integrity were not only valuable, but imperative. The defamatory yeah, statements that's what it's also like, repeat Jay. something with respect to plaintiff's offices, professions, trades, businesses, reputation, which we'll has a tomorrow. natural tendency to lessen the plaintiff's profits. To wit, the plaintiff lacks judgment and engages in dishonest, inappropriate, improper, and wrongful misconduct and behavior, including but not limited to that June plaintiff 20th. is promiscuous, unfaithful, tough child's father. Um, you know, practices unsafe or unprotected. Yada, things, yada, yada. Okay? Defendants one through 100 inclusive and each of them made the defamatory statements maliciously and or deliberately and or recklessly and or intentionally with knowledge of the false falsity of those charges and with the intent to defame the plaintiff and were motivated out of ill will and desire to injure the plaintiff in in conscious disregard for the plaintiff's rights defendants and those one through 100 inclusive and each of them failed to investigate the charges at all and or adequately and or thoroughly now those one through 100 do you know who those are even all of them made the defamatory statements maliciously and engaging in a feud with the father of the plaintiff's child the seeking $250,000 as a special for general. She is uh, seeking five, five million each. Wow. Her attorney fees and costs for a grand total of $10,666,206. Wow. Ten million two hundred sixty-six thousand three hundred and seventy-three. Not getting that. She's not getting it. Denied. That's what the judge gonna say. Yeah, she's doing too much. <laughs> they all are. They're thirsty. But he yes, brings it upon the himself. Though. Against blue child, we ain't even get deep into this yet. We ain't even get elbows deep. We just dipped our feet in the water. Uh, that's a good question. Oh, God. Okay. Blue has told Jaden to unalive herself and everything else. Okay. I don't know where that came from, Lord. I'll tell you this much. If it's not um, legal in that state, it doesn't matter how much you got. If you get pulled over for that um, substance, you're going to jail like Krishan did, Jay. Korean for child. She not getting a dime. Okay, he don't got he don't have it. No he money don't got at all. It. His net worth ain't even ten no. million dollars, child. He can't get what he don't, I don't have. Think he's two and this ain't it. <laughs> he's messed up in the game. Y'all know this ain't it, right? This is just one case where they want ten million dollars out of Bluefist. Lord, okay, she asked for a continuance, and this is what I showed y'all. The continuance will happen on seven twenty-two. Uh, 2024 8 30 a.m i don't That's know if they're gonna move days. this or not because at the end of the day child blue face is still gonna be locked up honey mm -hmm. he's still gonna be in click click city how do we know that because look at here he go to court here 
He's still in custody. Probation violation. He ain't, he ain't making that court date. He is not making that court date. Sorry, not sorry. It's it's not happening. Hennessy, he might make that court date. He got time. He got time. He got time. He's already in jail. So what is he going to be doing that he ain't going to make the court date? Oh, he's on punishment right now. He's already locked up behind them bars. So if they got to have him in to that civil suit, they will. And then if they got to have him in two days later, I think it's on the 29th of July for the uh, probation violation. Allegedly, they're saying this probation violation was committed while he was in jail for uh, that substance that was found in his room. Oh, they got time. They got time because because they're going to make an example out of Blueface. He's doing too much. They got time. Sweetheart. It's, it's just not happening. They got time. I hate to break that news to you. Okay. All right. So we're going to keep it moving right along. Okay. And the next one that we are going to get into is going to be this one. Yes. This is the civil suit of Kentavious Trailer. Now, if you remember Mr. Trailer, Mr. Trailer is the one that took the selfie in the courthouse. Three finger ain't on it, child. You going to see. You going to see. You is finna see. Uh, where am I at? Over here. Contavious Trailer is the one that showed up to the state, the state, the people of the state of Nevada versus Jonathan Porter. Okay. That's the gentleman who was pow powed in the hand. He is suing Euphoric Gentlemen's Club, um, a domestic limited liability company, Jonathan Porter, aka Blueface, individually, and those one through 15 inclusive, row business entities one through 15 inclusive. Okay. <sighs> Facts common to all causes of action. All right. On or about October 9th, 2022, the plaintiff was a guest and or invitee of the property. The defendant euphoric was in control of and responsible for maintaining the property in a reasonably safe condition to protect guests such as plaintiffs from harm. That on or about October 9th, 2022, the plaintiff was lawfully on the property morning, when the defendant Stacey. Porter physically assaulted the plaintiff while he was a guest at the property. Defendant Euphoric failed to provide adequate security on the night of October 9th, 2022. As a result, the defendant's actions of the defendant's actions, plaintiff sustained significant injuries. Child, let me turn my air on because it's getting hot in here. Huh. Proximity result of the defendant's negligence. The plaintiff has suffered emotional distress and psychological in in injury and received. I don't know what he received outside of that, but it says received period. Okay. That's the end of that sentence. <laughs> As a direct and proximate result of defendant's aforementioned negligence, plaintiff has suffered legally compensatable emotional distress and damage, okay? And he's seeking, of course, 15K. Uh, on or about October 9th, 2022, without warning or provoking, provocation, provocate, provocation, provocation, provoking, without provoking, without warning or being provoked, the defendant porter and or doles assaulted and or battered the plaintiff, causing the, causing the plaintiff <sighs> grievous, grievous physical and mental injuries and putting the defendant Porter in great fear and concern for his safety. Wait a minute. Where they be finding these people? Let's read that again. Causing grievy, grievous, thirsty people, grievous, thirsty people, physical and mental injuries and putting defendant Porter in great fear and concern for his safety. <laughs> I don't think they meant that. I don't think they meant that. P 
putting defendant Porter in great fear and concern for his safety and well-being. Wildebeest that they didn't cage properly. That's the way this is reading because that's the same thing they were saying about Krishan. But what people don't realize is, okay, yes, security at these venues, they have an obligation to keep you, the party goers, and the safe. staff safe. Yep. But their priority is going to be the staff over you if it comes down to you or the staff. Please understand that. Please understand that. Ciao. <sighs> okay. That as a direct and proximate result of the negligence of defendants in each of them, plaintiff Porter. <laughs> Plaintiff Porter sustained personal injury and disabling and all to plaintiff's damages in the amount of 15 of so in an excess of 15 K. So basically you're saying, <laughs> let's recap. Blue was put in a position so where he feared for his safety and was harmed. <laughs> And now it's saying that he has permanent damage and believes that the damages should be given to him in an amount that exceeds 15K? Oh, baby, who is the lawyer? Because, baby, stay away. Who is this? Allison? Allison. Allison and Mary. Why y'all got to be two women? Oh, Jesus. Hicks and Brazer PLLC. That that that's who who did this. That's who did that, y'all. I swear to God, I can't make this up. Anyway. Well, child, it says so in the court documents that you are owed some points. Child. Wait a minute. <laughs> Blue got Jonathan a lawsuit from the club. I would sue him too, okay? Shh. Blue can definitely use the money, honey. Okay, he's being permanently disabled financially for all of this. I cannot. This this had that had to be the most the last two documents had to be the most hilarious. Okay. But now let's get into Jarvis Heard. This is the third civil suit against Blueface. And this one, the one prior to this was in Nevada with the gentleman that had the case settled, Contabius. And the one with Jackie Martinez, Soldier Boy's baby mama is in L.A. So now we are on the third civil case of. How could be somebody be this slow as a young man? He's not an old man, but he's a young man. Be this slow and this broke and managed to get himself in this much trouble and it broke. Sit down, Blueface. When you get a chance to be free, sit it down. Have several seats, sir. You are broke, busted, and disgusted, trying to use Krishan's money so she can be right where you're at, trying to blow Jade and Alexis up so you can go piggyback off of her like you're doing with Krishan and have done since you met Krishan and she got success and money. Sit down, bro. You're going to mess around, and you're, you're going to never get out the rate you're going. Blue face, baby. Yeah, I just broke, busted, and disgusted, Stacey. It's just sad. Dude got she wants problems. ten million dollars. He wants an amount that exceeds fifteen k. Let's see what Jarvis Heard wants. Okay, it says exempt. People from say that Krishan's so slow, but you don't think Blueface is slow? You know they they act like they don't understand how he messes with Krishan. Look at him. He ain't the brightest bulb on the tree neither. Stop it. From arbitration. 
probable jury awarded an exceed of 50K. He wants over 50K, okay? Now, let me tell you something about this dude, Jarvis Heard. Jarvis Heard was there at the nightclub, had nothing to do with the altercation, and his car was hit by Kentavious Trailer. When he was fleeing the scene from Jonathan Hi, Jamal Kansas Porter, 66. a.k.a. Blueface, at Euphoric Gentleman's Club. So he got everybody. Yeah, on it wasn't here, a planned scheduled everybody live, sweetie. This case, all right. <sighs> Plaintiff Jarvis Heard. I'm going to try to read this without my glasses, child, because I. Oh. Oh. Nobody, all right. Thanks, y'all, for your cooperation and participating and getting those likes up to 350. I greatly appreciate it to all of the lurkers who left. See y'all. Nobody can exactly. see. I could be like a lot of other content creators. Listen, make sure y'all hit the like button. Yeah, because y'all got a problem with leaving likes on people's videos. I think you think that we get paid off the like and dislike. And I'm going to tell you something, honey. If we got paid off the likes and dislike, we'd be broke. So, you know, just to hit the like or the dislike button, but you're in somebody's house listening to, you know, the, the information, that's the least you can do. And it's just so sad that people just don't know, um, you know, just proper etiquette. Just home is a home training thing, you know. It's your upbringing. When you just think that I, I, I'm gonna sit here, I, I ain't got the like. I mean, it's that's ignorant. You're being ignorant. Either hit the like or the dislike. You get people that don't even show you no kind of respect in other uh, chats. They're almost like a culture, like a nature boy, a cult. Um, like they they, they have like a a, a group. And, and if you ain't uh, doing what they want you to do, they're straight disrespecting you, not even acknowledging your comments. And you're sitting up there, you know, giving them the utmost and definitely giving them a like. You know what I'm saying? They're not even due for it. You know what I'm saying? Give people their flowers. It is. And say, stop video until I get X amount of dollars in my cash app. But all I'm right, asking Stacey. for is likes. Cause y'all don't like even acknowledge the these people, right? and they're over there so liking them. If you can't them. give the video a like, then see ya. Let the door exactly. to the bar hit you with a good lord split. Y'all give y'all give likes to people that they ain't thinking nothing about you, just waiting for their big old monthly check, and laughing, laughing all the way to the bank, and y'all praising them, get memberships, super chatting them, cash apping them, and if you could have liked ten times, liking the video. Y'all need to stop that. Y'all, it's, it's, it's a generational curse, man. People are so enslaved in the mind. It's real sad. You know, it's like crabs in a barrel. People trying to climb their way up and people just dragging them down. Now let the party continue on and let's read I this case. Because I'm hoping that this is not as bad as the other two. Okay. I'm hoping it's not as bad as the other two. And I just seen something. Thank you, Stacey. I really hope you're trying to be funny because um, <laughs> if you're not, they're going to get you. That's all I'm going to say. All right. So now let's go into this case right here. Okay. Defendant Contabious. Okay. Plaintiff Jarvis Heard isn't at all times <sighs> relevant, was a resident of Clark County in the state of Nevada. Defendants Kentavious Trailer and Jonathan Jamal Porter, a.k.a. Jonathan Porter, a.k.a. Blueface. Eugene Rotondo and Shannon Sanders are and at all times relevant were residents of Clark County in the state of Nevada. I didn't know that Blueface lived in Nevada. I could have saw he lived in L.A. or not even where he lived at. He lived somewhere in California. <laughs> Woo! 
okay. Defendants SG Enterprises LLC doing business as your board, euphoric gentlemen's club is and at all times relevant with a limited liability company organized under the state laws of Nevada. Defendant Eugene Rotundo is and at all times relevant, was man was a managing member of uh SG Enterprises, okay, uh of Euphoric Gentlemen's Club. Okay. Shannon Sanders was a managing member of Euphoric Nightclub. I'm just gonna have to start chopping through some of this stuff because we're not we're not gonna do all of this, all right. At all times pertinent, defendant Euphoric euphoric owned managed and otherwise had control of the property with address there okay defendant euphoric was responsible for the maintenance and security of the property true names and capacities whether individuals corporate associated or otherwise defendants here in designated as those one through xxx inclusive and rogue corporations one through xx i said xxx these are all draining civil suits that hennessy review is taking the time out one by one she's better than me and breaking it down, how many civil, not even the felonies, but civil suits he has managed to get himself into with people trying to sue him because they're already thirsty for money. And he then set himself up. You can't blame nobody for but Blueface for why he's being sued. He puts himself in this situation and he needs to sit down. Blueface needs to sit down. I don't know what he thinks he's doing, but he needs to sit down. It's child. Um, okay, so these are all of the people that he is naming, um, the true capacities of everybody he does not know. Um, and they're just naming everybody in the case. All right. So we're going to go on, scroll on down. Hello, down, Nax. down. All right. Jurisdiction of the venue. Court jurisdiction because these actions arose, arose out of the event. Uh, Basically, what he's saying is that his car was damaged in the process of all of this and that the damages that he is seeking exceed $15,000 um, venue in this court is appropriate. And, you know, here are the general allegations. Your four gentlemen's nightclub and the defendants, those one through XX inclusive and the role businesses one through X inclusive defendants, role business entities, your four gentlemen's nightclub. Upon information and belief, the unidentified patron entered the club and encountered defendant Porter's group inside, resulting in an altercation. Upon information and belief, the altercation defendant Porter and the other parties involved exited the club. Porter's entourage started a fight at the strip club. Porter or members of his entourage fired a pow pow at the plaintiff. Trailer fled the scene in a white 2022 Nissan Titan. Um, defendant Porter's group was standing outside the club on a sidewalk when the vehicle driven by defendant Trailer, who was involved in a prior altercation, stopped on the street in front of the club near the defendant porter upon information and belief defendant trailer and defendant porter continued their altercation whereby defendant porter removed a firearm from his person and fired several shots injuring injuring a bystander upon information and belief defendant porter has a criminal history involving firearms this is true this is true because i can i pulled those case records already okay so what is what is blue face think he's doing is he looking at too many cowboy and indian movies what do you think? You're a cowboy or something? You don't. You're not even licensed to have a gun, but you're playing some boys in the hood. You've been looking at too many gang videos and and movies and stuff, trying to be something that you're not. Okay. Porter agreed to plead guilty to just discharging a firearm at or into an occupied structure, vehicle, aircraft, or watercraft, um, and battery. Trailer suffered what appeared to be a bullet graze wound to his left hand, um, according to the police report. During the escape, defendant trailer's vehicle collided with the plaintiff's vehicle. The damage to plaintiff's vehicle was a total loss. Las Vegas Metro Police noted the incident as a hit and run. Plaintiff's vehicle is still in disrepair in the auto shop. Now, if it is a total loss, why is it at the auto shop? That part. It's a total loss. Okay. As a, a direct result 
of defendants club negligence, willfully and or reckless conduct. The club was permanently closed. Okay. And this is who this gentleman is. Um, without consent against the will of the plaintiff possessed and discharged a firearm at the club. So what he is seeking is uh, the elements are one duty owned by defendant to plaintiff breach of said duty by defendant said breach is the direct and proximate cause of plaintiff's emotional distress and damages, emotional damages. Okay. So he is going after Blueface in an amount that exceeds 15K, okay? And if you remember at the top of this, this case was started in October 24th of 2023, all right? Now, if you remember in the beginning of this case, it said that this gentleman was seeking an, a jury award in excess of 50K. So it looks like he's looking to receive more than 50K from everybody who was involved. And that includes Blueface. Okay. It includes him as well. Now, the sad part about all of this is. In this case, okay, attorneys for the defendant, Jonathan Jamal Porter, Jonathan Porter, a.k.a. Blueface. If you remember, I told y'all about this. Hearing not requested, notice of non-opposition, meaning he wants to withdraw as counsel. His lawyer asked to withdraw as counsel. Motion to withdraw as counsel for Jonathan Jamal Porter, a.k.a. Jonathan Porter, a.k.a. Blueface, filed on April 5th of 2024. Oppositions are due on or about April 19th of 2024, okay? And this was signed by his law firm and him. And if you remember, it was granted. Blueface no longer has a lawyer. He don't want to have no deal. The court with grants him. the petition motion to withdraw and request withdrawing counsel. Submit an order confirming bed. this minute. He has no lawyer on the case. Which means he's going to be dishing out more money for mm -hmm. that civil suit. And he ain't got no money. He broke. Like a broke Child a whole mess. Now, I did go through these documents already, but you know, you need everything in one place sometimes. Yes, his instant case in the early morning hours of October 8th. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't the other case say October 9th? This one says October 8th. Can we get the dates right? Violence filed by the Superior Court of California, County of Los Angeles, rendering the possession of the firearm and a felony offense. Okay. On no phone into his pocket and walks away from the victim. The victim and her sister try to get the phone back from the defendant while members of his entourage pushed and pulled the victim and her sister back. Another At some crash point, the dummy victim catches up to the defendant and tries to physically retrieve her it's phone. Crazy. A member of the defendant's entourage pulls the victim away and punches her in the face. The same male then holds the victim's head down while the defendant right. kicks her in the chest mm -hmm. and or face. Defendant and his entourage then leave the casino. The state has provided a copy of the video attached here too as exhibit one for the court's review. No, I don't have the CD. I don't know how I, I would wouldn't even CD, play that. I would love to get the CD. So that is the story. That is the story of what happened. Here's the same Nevada case. Same Nevada case. All right. We already know what the, the case Delaney wants this man back in her court right here. That is the judge that we watched tell him if you get in any more trouble, that if he came back into her court, it's, it's that on. she was going to give him what he was looking yep. for. 
basically. You're going to get it now. And not so many words. That she was going to give him what he wanted if he came up in there on any more BS. She was serious. And too. so now uh, we are waiting to see if he was if he is going to uh, <laughs> be taken back. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I hope he, I hope he, um, I hope he, um, thought now, it was worth it. Are y'all ready for this one? How much he owe the, um, the club owner now? What is it, like 16 million? I've never seen anyone get kicked out so fast. The block was a person. Right. She said F around and find out. And that's what he did. I don't even know what they did. Listen, I love the admins. They in here with them wrenches and they not playing. And pretty soon I'm going to add a couple more wrenches to help them out up in here. But um, shout out to the admins because I don't even see what's going on. And y'all got this, okay? <laughs> Get them up out of here. Up out of here. <laughs> okay, so this is the last case. Um, I did talk about Nevada, but now we're going to get into the case that child, everybody coming for this man money. Y'all remember this case. I don't have to go through this case. Euphoric Gentleman's Nightclub is suing Blueface, okay? And they are they were granted a $13 million what is that, like 16 million uh, settlement, now. okay? The judge saw in their favor. So they've been waiting for their money, okay? Because they're saying as a result of what Blue did that night at the nightclub with the whole pow-powing and everything, it caused their club to have to be shut down. They lost money, and they want to retrieve said monies. Now, we know that he has been in Click Click City all of this time. But while he was in Click Click City the and interest his is um, the interest judgment for 13 going mil up. went unanswered, they started a judgment based on sister state, okay? <laughs> what does that mean? What does it mean? What does it all mean? So this was the original amount that um, the judgment was for. Thirteen million seventy-two thousand four hundred and eighty-two dollars. Ah, I had a <laughs> to go after Blueface. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in this right here, it shows that Blue was notified about this stuff because it says uh, that this person, Robert Krishner. Duly sworn to pose and say, I am over the age of 18 and was in four hundred and thirty five dollars and fifty nine cents. And they got a lien on his. Yep, house. I was trying to tell you guys that some people were saying that they didn't hear that like it wasn't true. OK, on the house. We're going to get into this right here. <laughs> I was Girls trying to the was, other one. OK, we're going to get I into was it. trying to tell you all they put the lien on his or trying to put a lien on his house. Um, I had heard this in another one of pre uh Hennessy's reviews uh presentations. She was reading all the legal docs and people were saying trying to lose the focus. Well, he don't own that house. Well, whoever owns that house that he's living in, they're trying to put a lien on it because they think it's his house. And obviously it's gotta be his house. Whack 100 got us thinking it, it's his house, but they're trying to put a lien on that house. To get some of that money back, and that that house ain't worth what what the lawsuit is for, but it, it'll it'll um justify some of the, what they owe, <laughs> well what he owes. I say they because Christian Rock, you know she gonna help him pay that. So all of that right there. I try to tell y'all that this Hi, is all of blue faces. Naima, Naima. That's crazy. So if you're over 40 and haven't achieved freedom of movement and flexibility, you're nuts. If you want to have body. So I'm interested to see what's going to happen when Blue comes home to all of this mess. He got to work and not be focused on the, the nonsense. He's going to have to stop doing what he's doing with Christian Rock. They're going to have to so, get their bag up. He got a possible $10 million lawsuit hanging over his head. He done already lost a $14 million lawsuit. And if this lady Jackie gets her case, that means he's going to be in the hole of $24 million. Yep. yep. 
it's over. He's gonna be working for those people rest for the of rest his life of their life yep. because this this of euphoric gentleman's club, they gotta lean on his house, which means they're gonna come for his property. Um, he can file bankruptcy. I'm not sure because when you have yep. things like this on there, Rolls don't in. they have to sign off on it? Because didn't Tasha K try that and card? That's why we don't know if if Blueface is playing Christian Rock. And 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 um Jaden is going along with it because sometimes when you're in desperate situations, and I mean he's in a desperate dire need of help any way he can. I think he'll be enemy, I mean, friends with his enemies right now to get help. Some to get some relief aid. You you just don't know like the sincerity of Blueface's heart for Christian Rock. Is it because he needs her? Because he's in too deep. Or is it because he really wants to be with her? Because I mean, I I, I see the chemistry, you know, there. But then again, I I I don't. You know, sometimes I look at videos and and um, you know, from the past, and and I don't know. Sometimes he has that look on his face, like you know, he's I don't know, like he's like looking at it, like she's she's she like he's like you're bugging, almost like he's disgusted with her. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, please go sit down. Like, don't embarrass me. And I, I don't see that when he's with Jaden. You know, he kind of acts, you know, the, he acts goofy and, you know, he's he's laid back, I guess, when he's with, uh, you know, Krishan. You know, he's in this element. But, you know, Krishan, she's a little bit out out there. And, uh, um, you know, I, I know that he likes that about her. But at the same time, I think that he does have feelings for her but he's also using her it says 2024 the year of the truth cat williams <laughs> yeah i i really i don't know what to make of it i hope that he's not using her but um you see how his um his uh he's real short with her you know she broke that curfew that he put her on and you know, he just dragged the name on social media. You know what I'm saying? And straight disrespected her. And, you know, she's she's paying his bills. You know what I'm saying? You know, going to court appearances to the point where she's got locked up in a court appearance trying to see how he was doing. And I don't think that he reciprocates the same, you know, for her. And she's got to, like, realize that, uh, you know, she's got to get herself together before she messes up like where he's at he he's messed up in the game you know and i really think that he's gonna be doing a sentence everything that he's supposed to be doing his father's business when he gets out that's gonna be put on hold so is the relationship with christian rock and blueface i don't know it just doesn't sound good it doesn't look good he says he's starstruck when he sees her oh please he said that what the time the last time she went into court when she had the fur coat on rosen yeah, he's full of it. Hello, 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 hello there. Hey, A.D. Mitchell, how are you? Good morning. So I'm going to get up off of here. Make sure y'all hit that like button on the way out. Uh, my, my brain is fried pretty much, you know. It's just crazy how many civil suits this dude has. Um, I think that a lot of people are treading lightly with these allegations of the new charge that allegedly he picked up with uh, that substance that was found in the prison cell of his. Um, so, you know, I don't really hear too much talk about it. I think I'm the only one probably on the deep end with uh, talking about it. I don't hear a lot of people on their platforms bringing that recently as of three months ago, WAC 100 stating that he was fighting those charges. And I'm going to just pull that up once again. I don't really hear too many channel holders talking about this. And I'm going to pull it up again because we got to pay attention. We, we we pay attention to um, the agendas, but uh, we don't pay attention to all the agendas. We pick and choose the agendas that we're going to pay attention to and then ones that we're not. So I'm going to stop sharing this. Shout out to Hennessy Review. Please go over and subscribe to um, her channel. But I'm going to uh, locate that video. I thought I had it. Um, 
in my little archive file, but I'm just going to have to go to my channel. But let me see. Where is it at? And then we're going to uh, get off this video because I got to be. Remember, I'm coming back on at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Where this is Christian Rock Speaks on. All right. Where is it at? Oh, here it is. I see it. All right, so. Hold on, guys. I'm going to share the, the screen in one second. All right. So, you know, we've heard this before, but sometimes we just got to keep speaking on stuff because people can forget things really quickly, get amnesia. It's it's good morning actually for me right now. It's two forty a.m. I'll be be up and at seven a.m. doing another presentation. But let me just share this really quickly before I get off because this is a new charge. This is a felony charge if he if he actually gets you know um caught. I mean, well, get found guilty on this. With the blue shoe about that other oh, they saying they saying Blueface got caught with some meth uh, in the in jail. Yeah. Uh, got caught with a bike violation for three months. Did you right. hear that? Oh, no, right, right. Got caught with PHCA. He's been fighting this violation for three months. I do not hear anybody talking about the violation while he's been in jail the last three months. And the only reason why, uh, I, in my opinion, I think WAC 100 is talking about it is because World Star and allegedly Denat was the one that brought it up. Remember, they go, well, now I don't know about World Star, but we know Denat is now actively going to these court appearances. You don't want to, in my opinion, a Denat going to no court appearances because he's not only going to tell you what's going on, he's going to add to it and stop mass confusion just to grow his channel. But this is how this leaked out. WAC 100 was trying to keep this on the hush-hush. So listen up. So he has another active charge. I don't know why no one's talking about it. Maybe sometimes we don't like to ruffle no feathers, and if we really don't know too much about something, we just don't speak on it. But I know that even if it wasn't um, the, the rumor meth, and it was a uh, synthetic weed, fake weed. He shouldn't have had it in his um his, his cell. And that's just another charge he's gonna pick up or already has picked up. Less than 0 0.3. Ain't no one meth you have a whole new charge. And that's not a trial, that's a probation here. So it has Talk been confirmed blue was not set up. Look, you already know when was word spread like these bro. See, you gotta remember. You got to remember that people will send you what they want to send you. Y'all problem is y'all entertain a lie. Yep. I agree with that. I don't agree with much, but I agree with that. Like, all all you got to do is just do a little investigation. Hey, right, now look. See, I'm going to come direct to the source. I heard about her ago. You feel me? I'm going to go after G, homie. I ain't going to be sitting here playing with y'all with world. It might be over you. for him. Blueface is caught with they were caught with those dumb, dumb, caught with what they thought was TA. Bro, I came in here last month and told y'all I had to go to court for Blueface and order them to test the weed. It ain't come back weed. It ain't weed. THCA. It's a. It's not even weed. Came back less than zero point three <clears throat> of THCA. Whatever it is, like some type of resin. I don't be entertained. Nice. I was the meth. have a whole new charge. Oh, well, he still has a charge, um, whack 100. Stop. He has Gotta to stop entertaining people. Hey, when people show you half of the end of something, you look for the beginning. You know why they didn't want to show you the beginning? Because the beginning shows you who's the fight. You see that guy right there? I don't know that guy. 
Because it's not me. Yeah, that's the not who might be over with for him. Blue pencil is actually caught with meth inside of his jail cell. Lord have mercy. But if you watch the video, the guy is saying that he feels like it's them trying to set him up. And Another violation is what that rumor was that, that shortly died down, Rosen, of alleged set up meth found in his cell, which um, WAC 100 saying it was not meth. They initially tested it for weed and it came back that it was THCA and less than 3% THC. That's what was found in his room. So even if it wasn't weed, it was some type of synthetic, in my opinion, um, pharmaceutical, something that you probably still can get high off of, man-made probably, like meth, because man meth is man-made as well. And he got caught with it in his room. There's no way they're going to just sweep that under the rug. He did that while incarcerated, getting some, some substance like that found in his room. That's no... Different than taking fruits from the um chow hall and making moonshine with it or some wine. And they smell something in the room, for an example, and they look underneath your bed and you you're brewing some wine from the fruits from 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 um the chow hall, trying to make uh wine, homemade wine or moonshine. And you, if you get caught with it, you could pick up another charge. Some jails might put you in a hole for 30 days. All, all states are different. But, yeah, you can pick up charges within in prison doing these uh, activities that Blueface is doing. 